Hey, welcome collectives. Let's do this real quick. It's Sunday. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Uh, this is on my spirit. This woman or man that you love or care about. It could be your crush, your ex-husband, your ex-wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other. Friends with benefits, side pieces, twin flame, soulmate, somebody you met at work, recreation, somebody you met online. I don't care. It was on my spirit. It could be a husband, wife right now, boyfriend, girlfriend right now, mate, partner. Notorious Mr. Mr. Side Piece. But the energy is, um, this is karma for them. And I guess they want you to know what you're really dealing with. This person always wants to be that big fish in a little pond. but And they, and they seem to have a God complex. Um, but they seem to still be basic. You know what I mean? No matter what they do, they still end up being basic. So let's see. Let's see what the cards say. My, I get the, the title and then I have to kick it. So what's, what's up with this um, woman or this man? Okay, what's up with this woman and this man? What do you want them to know? Yeah, they could be the King of Cups um, type individual. Hold on. Okay, you guys, oh, I got some food delivery coming. Um... What was I talking about? Um, so we're talking about, um, so this is on my spirit. So this person is going to get some karma. Um, and because they always um, feel like they're the big fish in a little pond. And they have a God complex is what's on my spirit. Let me put this down. I ain't trying to be seen on, on camera. So I think I, you know, I flipped, of course, I flipped the king of um, cups. This person could be um, very, very slow at what they do. Very, very methodical. Um, this person could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio because those are the chalices of cups. Uh, this person can be very diplomatic. I mean, emotionally balanced type individual, very compassionate, very charming, um, you know, um, you know, a very wise. People could come to this person to be an advisor, a counselor. Um, they could give good advice. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of alpha energy. Always got to be the leader because this is a king. Everybody come to me, get the advice. I'm the emotionally sound, um, you know, type um, individual. Um, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, and so people come to this person and maybe they, they consider themselves like a protector or very compassionate. Um, that's just a king of cups. They might not speak up or communicate their feelings with you a lot. Maybe they do it in action, indeed. Very mysterious type person. Um, yeah, very loving. This is the king of cups. But then, you know, um, on the other hand, this person could be um, uh, very compassionate about their self. They could be wanting to put their self first. Not very empathetic. Very emotionally manipulative. Wow, this person likes to play a lot of mind games. Um, they could become overwhelmed. They could give you the silent treatment, be very cold, very selfish. Um, uh, I feel strong manipulation, have a sense of, um, they might withdraw from you um, and have a sense of anxiety and they could become um, very, very overwhelmed um, and they could push back. So they could be very flip floppy in energy and they could just keep repeating the cycle shit. This shit right here is giving me a headache. <laughs> this person could put you on a pedestal and make you feel really, really good. But then at the same time, they could be very critical and, and criticize you. I feel a lot of gaslighting um, with this man or woman, I feel like you have to set up some boundaries with them because you can't tolerate their gaslighting. And gaslighting is when a person makes you feel like like you might say something to a person and they may turn it around, make you feel guilty for saying it or make you feel like you're telling a lie or you don't believe what you actually see. Um, and this is all this mind shit and emotional shit and ups and downs and highs and lows. And um, this person could be, um, and, and it might cause you some, um, because we want to talk about emotions. Um, it might cause you like maybe this person might flip it on you, make it feel like you're the victim, or you know you might you might experience some some highs and lows, like some anxiety with this man or woman, just crushing on them, loving on them, liking them, um, working on them, being a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend with this man or woman, and this is talking about love. Um, it, it may make, make make you feel depressed, I'm stressed. You, you might experience some stress. My hand is itching. Somebody get some money. Um, some anxiety. Um. You know, it might make you feel like you have some mood swings or you're out of your element or something like that. Like you're questioning yourself. You could have some violent outbursts, some anger outbursts, some verbal outbursts. Um, or you could just become emotionally numb because this person plays a lot of um, a lot of um, mind games um, with you. All right. So let's see anything else. Yeah. But they come off. And, and I think the draw is because he or she can come back to that emotionally being emotionally balanced, being diplomatic. And then they show you this compassion. 
emotion. Like, they're emotional manipulators. Oh, my. Right? And they're very, very charming. Anything else you want them to know about this man or woman? Mm. They always want to be the big fish in a little in a little pond. Oh, this person could be a Pisces. Or they could be dealing with somebody that's a Pisces. This person can be very, very psychic. Um, very, very in, in, intuitive. Um, you know, high priestess type um, men and women. You know what I mean? Very well balanced. Very. They could be very spiritual or religious. Or they could be very, very grounded. They could be very um, um, mysterious. They could have a lot of secrets. We love high priestess. They could definitely put their self first. They could do, um, you know, channeling. You know, they could be psychics and seers and, 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 and have king intuition um or this could be you or this could be very much you you came into your to their life to balance them maybe you um you know try to keep them balanced show them um you know different ways of looking at um relationships and you know and, and, and put it on a more spiritual um um elevation okay hold on let me get my food okay um sorry um so, so, so this person, um, this man or woman, I, I want to talk about good. I, I don't want to see bad. Um, you know what I mean? And I know that I, I have to read it the way they want me to see it. And so first I want to talk about this person can be very, very, um, strong. They could be, maybe that's their attraction. They're very diplomatic. They could be very honest. Um, they could have a sense of open, um, you know, communication. It could be a strong attraction um, between you two and a strong desire. And, it, you know, it's like a healthy and it's very passionate. And it might not be a faulty foundation. It could have been bonded and built on trust and sharing, your, you know, your, your experiences in your life. Or just this um, uh, magnetic uh, attraction for each other. Because we got the King of Cups, um, the High Priestess. I feel a lot of Cancer energy. This person could be a Cancer. Um, I got to learn my cards. I'm going to have to learn my cards. Um, you know, you know, um, or some kind of water sign. Or you could be, um, um, you know, um, and... It, um, it, um, um, you could foster like really want to foster really good healthy relationships with this this person or you want to and I think you both have this strong sense of in, um, intuition you know just just really intuitive um, you know but what's on my download is that the um, person wants to be the big um, fish in a small pond um, and, and and they still end up being basic is because I think their ego gets in the way and I think that they um, for some of you guys somebody, somebody like pomegranates I think that um, their dual personality instead of taking it and and and, and operating out of their masculine and feminine energy and keeping it balanced like goal setters um you know being relentless being confident setting of goals being very mentally stable um you know organized leadership and then for divine feminine being very um energy being compassionate loving caring um you know um, um king intuition you know stuff like that um, being balanced, I think that this woman or man is very in, have an imbalance, and I feel like they can hold grudges. I feel like um, they have a sense of uh, they they have some um, major um, trust issues, or you maybe you have a hard time trusting this man or woman. I think their communication is faulty. I think it's lacking. I don't think they express themselves the way they're supposed to, and they have all the gifts to be this great extraordinary because they could be psychics and tarot card readers and seers and shit, or you could be, or it could be laying dormant, or they had know that they have this king. They don't have to be any of that. They can be religious or they could be an atheist, but they know they have this king intuition, but I don't think they follow it. And I don't think they're very honest with themselves. I don't think they're very true with themselves. Um, and I think it leads to a lot of confusion, a lot of outbursts. I think they have a lot of spiritual knowledge, um, but I think they're disconnected from it. And it makes them untrustworthy um, for you. I feel like you, you have a hard time reading them because they don't be their true um, self. They don't follow that inner voice that they have, which is their intuition and their inner strength. And I think they keep a lot of chaos and drama um, started. And I think what the attraction is, is I think that when you first met this person, Person, or however how you got with this person online or never met this person you felt this healthy connection and this passionate um connection that you both um shared and i feel like you felt it was different and i feel like it is different because you have the high priestess right like i said a lot of y'all could be tarot card readers psychics and seers um and maybe you try to push this person to be more lead, be more in their um 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 you know, communicate their needs and their feelings and it doesn't have to be di difficult um, and you don't have to deal with no trust issues and because you can feel that this person is a good person, but I feel like this person doesn't want to live up to that. Um, they like that um, deceptive um, 
side of them um you know that um that imbalance um they like playing these mind um, manipulation um type games they don't take instead of taking their leadership role and walking into being a leader um i feel a lot of alpha energy on here they want people to worship them they want to control everything they could be feel like they're in competition with you um uh, you ever meet somebody um you maybe you read it online or you just know that you know you love this man or woman but they make it a competition like they have to be this shiniest crayon in a the box they have to come in the room and everybody has to give them this uh, attention um you know what i mean because they need constant validation they need constant attention they need constant approval um they have this superiority this um entitled type demeanor they feel like they need special privileges special attention they never feel like they're wrong that it's not that never their fault um yeah so let's see anything else yeah yeah but then i see the fish and they want new <coughs> they want new beginnings excuse me they could always have they could always be emotionally and have emotionally imbalances good, good gosh who is this person why well, put the high priestess there now if the fool come when i'm doing this reading it means this person wants to develop Ooh, what is that pepper oh hell no sorry y'all <laughs> um when if the fool comes and meets this person wants to uh develop and uh and learn and learn if it comes after this high priestess but if it doesn't it's this person keeps doing the same shit and keeps getting the same outcome Man, what kind of reading this is today i'm just telling you about this man or woman who feels like they're a big fish in a little pond let me see what else do you want us to know about this man or woman so the, I guess the ancients and the ancestors, spirit guys, Jesus, all of they see that these traits that this man or woman has, but they 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 don't. Uh, oh, they want to communicate with you. They want to talk. They want to talk to you. Something unexpected is happening. Maybe they miss your energy. Maybe you are no contact, limited contact. Um, they like the way you handle yourself. Some of y'all is incognito. You really just don't want to be bothered. Um, yeah, they definitely want to talk to you. They know the benefits. Um, I feel like you see this person unexpectedly or you talk to this person unexpectedly because um, this is intentional and unintentional or, you know, consciously or unconsciously, like things happen or it's, it's about communication or the lack thereof or you need more of it. Um, you know what I mean? Or things happen unexpectedly. You could have met this man or woman unexpectedly. You know, you got this job, you met this person, you went to the gym, you never thought you would uh, meet this type of man or woman. Or, you know, you was at church, you was at the mall, she went out or, you know, you bumped into the, you know, you was in a restaurant or a store or something like that i just think it was un it was unexpected and i think that this woman and man had everything that you thought that they should have you know you felt this deep connection this love this spiritual i'm vibing with this person i feel this deep connection pomegranates might mean something to you my right foot is burning somebody could be religious or christian or you could be somebody could be jewish somebody name could start with a b or a j or something like that and you just really thought this person was very very balanced you know you could be interracial relationships and stuff like that you just really thought that or you could be totally opposite and then just something unexpected happened and it could have changed the game too i don't see any bad cards with this person so i understand why you love her or why you um or why you love him or crushing on him or it's long distance or your husband and wife boyfriend girlfriend why you take them back because they started with the king of cups but at the end of the day um there's something wrong here like i said i don't know if it's the manipulation if that's how they they get you in you know and then look at this and this person observes you and this person um, it's very manipulative. And like I said, they could put you on a pedestal one minute and then they could criticize you the next. And I could be wrong. Let me see. Let's hear more about this um, man or woman. The hangman. They could stay in limbo. They can definitely stay in limbo. No. Okay, hold on for a minute. Okay, you guys, hold on for a minute. Okay, you guys. Um, I had a taste for a breakfast. So order me a big breakfast. I'm ready to eat too. Um... I have a feeling, um, <clears throat> so you don't want to get through these couple of readings. I have a feeling that this person does love you. If you, you know, because we started off with the King of Cups. So I don't want to beat him or her up so bad. I just think they have some real deep seated issues. They could have childhood issues, dysfunction, mommy, daddy issues. They could not know how to calibrate their emotions. They could be one minute they're um, feeling good, and one minute they experience a lot of highs and lows. You see all this water, all these um, water signs. And I think they, they're very, very easily influenced. Um, um, 
and then we talked about the high priestess. A lot of y'all could be tarot card readers, psychics, and seers, and stuff like that. And they could be not tapped into their intuition, so they don't use it. They have this disconnect, I feel like. You know, they're not really being their true self. And she says, put yourself first. But she also channels channels the um, empress. And the empress, um, you know, um, you know, um, the ultimate, um, talks about character. And it comes from the inside. Love, caring, compassion, and sympathy. You know, um, empathy. You, you know, things like that. Forgiveness. Um, love kindness um you know and then um, and then we went to the um the arrows the wands this person could you could have not had sex with this person or they could be very much desire to have sex or um with you or you know or some kind of desire or passion they want to be with you but i feel like something is um is 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 is, 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 is preventing you guys coming together the way you're supposed to as a husband wife husband husband wife wife boyfriend girlfriend getting a chance as a crush or online dating um somebody that you work with recreational um twin flame um you know um soulmate type shit um and so you know and then we come to the hangman um and so the hangman talks about a person being in limbo um and I just feel like this person, they're just, they're, and, and I don't like stagnant energy, right? But maybe they're taking time to evaluate, you know what I'm saying, the situation. They don't want to be too hasty. Um, they don't want to, um, you know, make a decision that could be very um, detrimental, very critical. Um, you know, they want to focus on um, what's working. Maybe they feel like right now, you know, ignoring, um, you know, being quiet, not really saying anything. It's got third party on it and outside interferences. Um, you know, um, it's, uh, I have to look at the card. You because I feel like the passion is there. I feel like a light bulb went off because you see that illuminating um, light of yellow. But I just feel like they kind of, I, I feel like they kind of take you for granted because they don't know what direction they want to go. They have this uncertainty. And you could be with this man or woman in, in, in regards to investing and working in a relationship, or you could be in no contact or limited com, um, contact. And I think this man or woman likes to play it safe. Um, right, and I feel a lot of ego in here, and I feel a lot of lack of integrity. It could be, you know, it could be a third party. Maybe they feel like they have to um, sacrifice the person that they're with, or their friends, or their family to come towards you to make it work, or they have to sacrifice who they are and get, move away from that big ego and that big um, romantic illusion that they're living in, or the, the deceptive behaviors and the manipulation that they're used to doing. And maybe their perspective is not like yours. Maybe their perspective of how they look at life and relationships and love and people, friends, and family is totally different the way you um um you look at it um you know what i'm saying um i feel like they do contemplate this is like see i, I don't like this because it's kind of indecisive it's a lot of in instability here like there's they, they still don't know what kind of direction to go um and in, in, in regards to movement um it's a lot of it's a lot of stalling it's a lot of um they could be very much disinterested in you they could be avoiding you it could be a standstill you know like a draw um you know what i mean who's going to say this who's going to text first who's going to talk first who's going to um, call first or um i'm mad when you're mad when you when you're on i'm off when you're on i'm off when i'm on you're off type shit um no real balance no real equilibrium nothing is really really calibrated they could you could be very sympathetic to this person this man and woman could come off very apathetic not very caring not very loving right or they could be coming you could be they could be very loving and caring and they're gonna turn you off and now you're not feeling very caring you're feeling very apathetic um yeah i feel like it gives you a lot of um agony because this man and woman is so indecisive um you know um maybe they don't want to rush maybe they feel like the timing is just not right um you know um yeah i just feel like they um it, it, it's a lot it's a lot going on it's a, it's a, it's a lot going on um okay so let me pull some more cards i don't even know how many minutes it don't matter Anything else you want to know about this person? So I think they're very good. They got a good nature, or do they, or they not? I just think it's it's not balanced. It's just not balanced. It's very indecisive. It's flip floppy um, energy. And then like, how do you have a relationship or love a man or woman like this? Because you can't predict them. You know, it's, it's a lot of tactics being used. It's a lot of gaslighting. You know, I, 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 it, it could cause you, like I said, some depression or some issues or some anxiety, or you just feel like the victim, or they make you feel like the victim, or they try to play like the victim um like you know um it, it's, i feel numb and i don't like the energy let me see anything else about this man or woman <laughs> look at that hot headed in the devil i was getting ready to say they don't seem bad i was, I was getting ready to say they don't seem bad i'm not trying to make it bad you see this hot tempered um um 
King, Knight of Swords, and you see this devil energy. You definitely see this devil energy. So this person could feel like they're the big fish in a little pond, and he or she is so important. But see, they're only important around the people. The, the They're only well-known or important around their small group of Malua friends, family, squad, crew, Malua people, right? Um, but not they're not very known outside of that, right? Outside of that group, that community, that town, that state, um, you know, um, they could compare themselves and judge themselves against their peers, their peer sets, you know, like their friends, their family, their relatives, the people that they hang around, and that's how they judge themselves. So they have, maybe they have a beta man, so that's just two, two men, so they have beta men around them, and he, and he or she is the alpha uh, beta men and women, and and, and, and they like more take orders where the alpha female and male they are leaders right and they they take charge you know and so if they're comparing themselves against beta people then they really feel like this big fish you know what i mean but you could be a um a alpha type um, man or woman or in charge or very um unorthodox you don't have to be any of that very unorthodox type man or woman you do things your way you know you have a sense of self-esteem self-worth you have a mind you use it and i don't think this man or woman likes that and i think they go into anger resentment they could be very very possessive they could be get very very ag agitated they could um feel like they can compete with you um they could have some addictions they could have lust greed hype um, they could have some mental disorder. You see the devil here. They could be very verbally, they could think that they're doing something good, but they could be verbally aggressive. They could want to fight, rush in and fight and argue, and argue, be cold, give you the silent treatment. You see these two cards here, right? They could feel like they're unshakable. Their beliefs are unshakable. Their patterns of behavior could be disrupt, disruptive. Um, you know what I mean? Because they don't get their way. They got this sense of God complex, entitlement. You know, I get special attention, special privileges. They never think they're wrong. I could be wrong, but right foot is burning. They project. I feel a lot of projection on you. They don't take accountability. I feel like you deal with a man or woman for like it's never their fault. Never their fault. Like, and then they maybe never apologize. I remember some man uh, sent me a text and he was like, I apologize to you. I, didn't, I looked at all the texts. I've never seen an apology. It must have been in his mind. <laughs> it must have been in his mind. I swear on my life and my kids like I look I had to delete all those um texts because it was so I felt I felt very uneasy I'm like this didn't even go right the first time it didn't go right it wasn't it wasn't it was faulty it, it wasn't founded on the right thing and then I asked this person are you with this person this person said no then it seemed like this with this person so it's, this person could be a liar this person could be very very deceptive we've all been been deceived and been disappointed and had people that we don't trust that we care about that we like that we think that we have a deep connection and this is how this person the energy is is when I say something right and it was vague conversation it seemed like I'm the only one talking I'm the only one trying to work on this marriage this relationship um you know trying to meet this person I'm just giving you examples you know what I mean because you could met this person online you know or speaking to them at work or in a community or something like that and this man or woman is very very difficult they're very very difficult they have this sense of superiority right and they lack a lot of em empathy and they need constant look at the devil I'm beautiful Beautiful. I'm handsome. It's all about you. It's all about me. Constant validation. They could exploit you through their manipulations to get their needs met. Um, yeah. And so, um, anything else? Um, other than they could have some addictions, lust, sex, money, greed, hype. They could have third parties. They could like to be in a lot of shit, a lot of confusion, keep a lot of, um, you know, um, a lot of shit started. Um, anything else with the devil? Um, uh, you could have this really, um, you and this person could have a very very sexual attraction a passionate attraction um to each other this person could have a lot of indulgence um you could have this conne romantic connection that can't be broke it's kind of obsessive with both of you guys or with this person but then it could be poor communication um this person could avoid emotional decisions they can have creative blocks they're not really open they can get um open to like new ideas new approaches at least not with you right maybe somebody else like they could make you mad trying to make you jealous they could be very envious um and you could just uh, be very unbothered and it just makes this person really really upset um, they could be experiencing some creative blocks. I don't know why I have to say that. Um, and they could get very, very frustrated with you because they can't control you. And it gives us this confusion, no clarity. Mis um, it's misleading. It's a lot of assumptions, uh, you know, confrontational fights. It's no real kind. It's just mean, cold, stubborn, deliberate type person. His, her words or his words could be very painful or, you know, or what they don't say.
you know, what they don't say. Um, you know, they could be dealing with some legal issues too. You know, they could be, um, be in, 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 I feel like in a fight of their life. Like this is a man and woman, their karma is they're going to, they're going to get it from the people that they, um, that they left you for, rejected you for, talked about you for, slandered your name um, for. Um, you're not going to be the ones to give it to them. And, 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 and I wish I could say that for you guys. I don't feel like you're going to be the one to get bring this man or woman's ego down. Now, you might take your energy back. You might never see this man or woman again. You might fall in love, get married to somebody else. So you could be doing that now. But the very people who they worship... <laughs> who they feel tied to, who they tell their lies to, or who they, um, you know, they, this big grandeur of, um, you know, I'm bigger than life, who they pretend to be very charitable and very loving and caring, but they have their own agendas, whether it's sex, whether it's motivation, whether it's getting in their egos um, feel, feeling entitled, um, or nobody won't challenge them, you know, because I'm the provider, I'm the wealthy man, I'm very abundant um, type um, men, I take care of women, I take care of everything. These people going to bring them down. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Tarot card readers, we be doing readings, and the shit be funny. Like you can't hear the joke, but the the energy be like it. it, it it's, 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 it's it's hilarious because something's gonna happen. A sudden change in their life is gonna happen to them, and they're gonna learn about compromise. They're gonna learn about resolving conflict without being confrontational or me and us against the world, and everybody's against them. They're gonna learn about honesty and peace and balance and harmony, um, resolution and compromise. They're gonna have a lot of regret. They're gonna have a lot of remorse. But right now they're in the devil energy, right? I wouldn't be surprised this person got into accidents, fights, drinking, alcohol, drugs. Maybe they don't do none of that. They could be very churchy, you know, or under some kind of religious umbrella, Muslim, you know, Jewish or whatever. They could be very uh, biased, prejudices, isms. You know, this, this, this person is operating out the, um, the devil energy. You may have had to walk away from this person because they have to do some healing because they could like to be contra contra confrontational arguments, solid, silent treatments. I see a lot of bullying. I feel like this person caused you a lot of stress. Um, yeah. So, and that's funny. And the Knights of Swords, yeah, they like, they like it. And they, they try to act like they don't like the, my legs fall asleep, the confrontation. And that's why it says that um, this person wants to be the big fish in the small pond, but they're really basic. And when I say basic, because the ancient said basic, it's not that they're not creative or they could be famous. Like I said, they could be around their cohort of people. I have to say that again, in their community, and they're, they could be very well known in their community, in their small group of people, squad. They eat a big fish. But outside of that, people don't know them. They're not nobody. They're not important. It's not all about them. It's just a community. It's just a town. And it could even be a state, right? But at the end of the day, they're nobody outside of that. And as long as they stay in that, they, they be that um, nucleus, nucleus, nucleus in the center, the core around this um you know the outside then they're looked upon and they can act like this and they can act superior and they think they're better and you know and everything and they can um and they can compare themselves to their peers uh, um you know and they can compete with their peers or they feel like they can compete with you but if they step out of that they know that they're they're just basic right they're just basic and i don't even know why they act like this <laughs> i don't even know why they act like this i think because people have um have swallowed their head up and they allow them to get away with this behavior this devil behavior and give you one more because i don't really care for this person I don't really care. I don't like the energy. And they got all these good qualities. And all they got to do is be a good man and a good woman. But they rather take this devil route. The easy route. Right? And I feel like this man or woman has a lot of partner side pieces. Or they're sneaky. They creep a lot. Um, they're very deceptive. They don't know how to have a real loving relationship. They could have um, people. You see, she's um, buying him and he's buying her. Man, 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 woman. They could have men and women act just like them. Sneaky, creepy, rolling their eyes, gossipy, um, manipulative. Um, act like they don't do nothing. They, you throw the rock um, and hide your hand tight. These are the type of people they attract. They can attract very attractive people, or they could be basic. They can look all right. They could be very wannabes and think that they're they're more than life. Like they they attract big fish and small pond type people too. And only around their Malua people, or their group, they're well known, or you know, um, or they feel important. But outside of that, they just basic, right? I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know how to do my readings. What is this? Yes. <laughs> If this ain't the seven of um, chalice, yes, because see, they have a lot of romantic illusions. They feel like everything that glitters and gold. And they have a lot of unrealistic expectations. And I was talking about, this is for some people, if they have like a third party, uh, don't be jealous of him or her. Don't be envious of him or her. Tell them they can have, go get married. Let it, the whole world know y'all married or y'all working on your marriage or your relationships. Wear matching clothes and shoes and shit. You don't care. Let them live together. Because they don't want, <laughs> I don't 
don't know why I could talk to young girls and I'll do a reading or something like that. And they go, is he going to marry her? Did he love her? She loves So what? So what? If they have a baby together, do you know when you're a real parent? And here I go being Terry. But you know when you're a real parent, do you know how much time you have to invest? I wanted my kids to read and shit at two and three. I was one of them type of mothers. Now, they were all different. Aaron caught on, but the other ones, it was they all, they're different. You love them the same, but they're different. One I had wasn't really good with the um, English, so I went and when she probably was like five, I went and got her a word book. But my son, he was reading. Like, he was two and three, right? But but I don't I don't compare them, but I'm just saying I was one of them parents. I wanted to be hands-on. Then you got to love them, and you got to kiss them, and you you tired. And, you know, if you had a husband like me, and, you know, and the shit is um, um, faulty, you know, you still got to love and, and protect your Like, y'all worried about getting married, or you worried about he or she going to marry her, or be with them and have babies. Don't you know babies and children need safety? They need love. They need protection. Please don't be jealous of that. You should want to. Please marry him please marry her that's your headache i'm single i'm free i ain't got to deal with that because the man or woman that you're going to be with collectives is not going to be it's not going to feel like a uh, it's not going to feel like a ball and chain a headache you know what i'm saying an off and on cycle somebody need to hear that that's very specific so you sitting there crying and there's men and women and worrying about you lost this man and woman to some attachments um karmic attachments or they stay with their husband and wife or they pick the side piece of somebody over you or somebody they work with her in a group with. who care let them have <laughs> who cares if you know the quality that you have as a man or woman and this could be you too the king of cups and the high priest and very loving caring diplomatic you know what i'm saying um and you got all these beautiful qualities the person that's for you is going to be in alignment and if this man or woman can't get 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 with the program well then so be it because they seem like they have a lot of issues right look at this they like if they like that grass is greener everything glitter is deceptive everything is um better um um unrealistic um type relationships right i don't know i feel i'm sorry y'all i'm sorry hi char <laughs> char would say thank you i mean it that you know and i love her she's a very strong woman and she has her own podcast i'm gonna send that out um um to everybody i hope you support her podcast because she is amazing but at the end of the day please do not worry about this man or woman in these third parties and his attachments or if they stay with their husband and wife boyfriends and girlfriends and side pieces and they are not divinely ordered to be with these people and this is what they choose to be with then let them learn the hard way while you hiking and traveling and laughing and and you in your relationships that flow you know i do know people who don't argue in relationships <laughs> people are like that can't be true yeah there's people who have healthy relationships it ain't got to be like extracting teeth it doesn't have to be like that right okay so now you got a glimpse of who this man or woman is they sound horrible <laughs> they sound horrible they need to change they need to change but you love them you can't help it who you fall in love with anything else you want us to know about this man or woman anything else you want us to know about this man or woman yeah they want you they want to come towards you they want to get on that ship they want to come towards you. They feel like they can have a better, um, um, and I went through that whole spiel. Uh, this is talks about three of wands waiting for the ship to come in. They feel like they can have a better relationship with you, but something is keeping them back. Whether it's accountability, responsibility, ob out, of, out of obligation for who they're with. Maybe they care about what people think, but they want to get on that ship. They want to come towards you because they know, you see all this illumination, this enthusiasm, this kindness, this happiness, this, this, this sun. They feel like that you're more energized. You're more conducive to them as men and women but something is holding them back right let me give you one more before i kick this and close this up anything else about this person they th oh look at that did i say that i went through this whole spiel some of y'all haven't had sex with they recognize you they have a passion for you they see your accomplishments see your achievements it's the six of wands they see that you get attention too that people look up to you people respect you they feel like you're their equal counterpart this is an old twin flame car they feel like you can share ideas you have a mutual understanding and respect for each other if he or she would be the person um, that they're supposed to be to walk into their true self to their in their true identity right be their true self um you know what i'm saying and not and not um and not be in that hangman energy be their true self follow their own inner voice and their own intuition sorry y'all my sinuses and uh, concentrate yeah see they feel like that they feel like they're that twin flame that person that they can have this real connection with 
right? So I'm going to leave those out. And they admire you and they love you and all that stuff that I said. They know that. They know that you're a good man and a good woman. And people see you and they validate that. But for some reason, they want to be resistant. Let me see the thing. Because they've been through hurt and pain. It's the wounded warrior. And they've had some ups and downs. And they don't know how to go through life. And real Shit, let me just tell y'all something. <laughs> let me tell you something that you already know. You ain't the only one been through shit. You don't own that. We all been through shit. We all have to deal with hurts and pain and rejection and uh, money and a lack of money and money and no money and friends and frenemies and family and good family and bad family and situations and overlooked on jobs and promoted or a lot of um, our shoulders is wide, a lot of burdens and um, being overwhelmed and raising kids or having relationships or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're not the only one. You're not the only one. And I feel like this, this person is very disingenuous and very um, um, lack apathy to realize that they feel like that they can project their shit on you like you didn't have your own shit. Like I always hear people go, just stay in my shoes, stay in my shoes. And the very people that tell you to stand in your shoes be the ones talking about you, be the ones slamming your name, be the one gossiping. So if you're the one saying stand in my shoes and that pain hurts you so bad, because you imagine how my pain feels that I get dumped on, I get um, people talk about me, people perceive me one way and I'm not nothing like that nothing and i'll be waiting like i'm 57 i'll be waiting for this person who they portray me to be right portray me the bible says a bad bad seed uh bad fruit can't produce good fruit but people say they they spiritual and they holy but they never want to they never want to listen to the word but they want to modify modify the word i just want to say that to somebody because i want to free somebody today and the day is sunday <laughs> the day is sunday you know let's have reference to sunday but seven day Adventists feel like it's saturday should be that day right we're gonna be here all day but at the end of the day, this is what this person doesn't realize that they're hurting you and being wounded. And their wounds, they should take their wounds and make an inner strength. But what they do is they take their wounds and they become um, combative or they could become um, confrontational or they feel like they don't want you or they look for every reason not to have this equal exchange of love, of relationships, right? This person is very difficult. There's a lot of passion there, though. The person can't deny that. Let's keep these. Let's keep these. Y'all know how to do my readings. Hold on, hold on tight. We almost done. This ride is almost over. <clears throat> this person feel like they're the big fish in a small pond. Yeah, this person's spying on you. That's all they want you to know. And you see this immaturity, little redhead. And this person get real mad when they start seeing that you're happy and you're unbothered. You see that fire and passion. This person is very acquisitive, though. They trying to figure out what you're doing. See, they don't cut you off. See, they ask, they don't cut you off. Walked away from you, rejected you, didn't want you, don't talk, talk to you, and everything. And they still worried about what you're doing. Worry about what you're doing. <laughs> Grow up, you young. What was that outfit? What's this outfit you got on? This person could feel like that they're more and bigger than life. I see butterflies. Yeah, six of wands. Why are they checking you out? You have six of wands twice because they think that you're the shit in it. They see your achievements. They see your accomplishments, right? They didn't want to recognize it at first, right? They're giving you the recognition. And this, I put channeling this delayed, not de denied, but they see that you're being very victorious. You're being very successful. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're moving towards your life purpose. You're learning stuff on your journey, uh, right? Because it's, it's the journey. It's not the destination, right? We all say that. You know, I lost my channel. Lost 940 Um. Um, videos in terror and I hate that I said all this stuff and dressed up in my costumes and I have to prove myself to people who've been with me day one you know, hopefully they can say she said that you get what I'm saying this, this is this is after the fact this is after the fact they realize who you are as a man or a woman right yeah anything else so now it's about you. Now they realize who you are and how you try to help them, how you try to elevate them, how you try to heal them, how you try to encourage them and support them. And they, who don't want that? <laughs> who don't want the happiness, the light, you know? You know, like I said, even the movies tell you go toward the light, but they like to stay in the darkness. You see the devil, right? Anything else? Cherry, this person could be a cancer. Uh, I'm trying to learn the cards. Yeah, funeral. Be careful. It's going to be a death. Travel, progress, conquest. This person wants to come towards you, but you see they fighting zombies. So that means they have outside interferences or they have third parties and stuff that they have to get away from. Look at that imagery. They have to get away from these people first before they can move towards you. Like, don't bring that stuff to you, right? Don't bring them zombies to your house and then you got a casket because maybe it don't might not be a physical death. It could be a, a, a death of the way they think, a mental death, you know, some kind of, um, you know, change in their behaviors, you know, that kind of death, toxic death, you know what I'm saying? And they have to clean, clean up some inner demons. Could be some addictions and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, hey. Um, could, you going hiking? Oh, um, I hate to cut my thing off. Get out of my 
laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, it could be it could be something like that. Now I'm talking to my daughter and hiking things. This person might want to come. You could be long distance from this person. This person might want to come see you. Could you give me some grapes, please? Um, thank you. Um, I don't feel like going out. Um, this person could might want to come see you um, and go on a trip. Yeah, and grapes. Some of y'all could be on a diet. This person could be overweight. It could be a um, aging aggressively, or you could be on a diet, something like that. I don't know, because when I say something in the reading, I don't know, y'all. I'm going off on a tangent. Anything else about this man or woman? Look at that third party. Well, you already knew that. I said it was a third party. And what's this card? Ooh, and the three of cups. Look at this third party all in this shit. Did not talk about marriage. Like this man or woman might marry this person, get engaged to this person. They could be just in a committed relationship with this person. Do it look like they happy? Do it look like <laughs> you have a, you don't even tear card reader. How do you have a relationship with a zombie? They thought it was good. Look at the three, th the third party. The third, when you get the three of swords, it talks about a relationship that has out, you should know this by heart. Like a relationship that's outlived this usefulness. When I learned these cards in three weeks and 78 cards and I did it by memorization, the ancient told me do never never take that part out because that is the whole concept of this it has outlived its usefulness now y'all can bake cookies you can live in nostalgia you can have good sex you can go on trips you can become famous or whatever but your relationship is over it is eroding it is you can stay with this person to death but it is eroding it was not meant for you person um, both to be together they could be experiencing a lot of turmoil a lot of loss a lot of inner turmoil you know what i'm saying a lot of heartache a lot of jealousy um love marriage close friends from all all the third parties whatever is going on in their life um and the people from the outside that they're with the third party attachment they could be feeling jealous and envious and you know and agitated and upset because i feel like you have this person's heart right because that don't look like no good heart that looks like a ugh. Who want to eat a heart? This is a real heart. We're talking about a spiritual heart. A spiritual love. They eating real heart meat. And that shit is not real. Look at that. It says celebration, good times. Don't let criticism and judgment interfere. Um, new partner, celebration, birth, and wedding. I feel like, um, and this is, oh, I don't want to miss it. Three of Cups is a reconciliation card. I feel like if this person does want to come with you, come to you, or be with you, or work on your relationship, they do have other people because it says don't let criticism and judgment interfere. I do feel like there's a lot of outside interference. There's a lot of third parties here. Third party could be they could be with a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other side piece, some kind of transitional business relationship, and they sleeping together, whatever. Whoever the third party is, um, whatever. Ever, but at the end of the day, and a third party could be my wife is burning, like religious beliefs, um, you know, um, some differences, or people don't like you, or people judge you, or you know, um, in laws, friends, family, co workers, something like that. But they have that interference, and they have to take a stand as men and women and, um, and, 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 and move away from this. I knew this, I knew a third party was gonna come up. Let me get your last cards, yeah. So I'm all over the place. They're just kind of talking about this person. So basically all they're just saying is this person has is, is got to get out of self, get out of this God complex, get out of this big fish, little pond um, um, mentality. And, and you know, even though they're important and well-known around their small group or squad of people, there's a bigger world out there. Um, it's not always their way. They don't need to be controlling everything. Let go of karmic attachments and relationships that no longer serve them. You know, use their mind, learn to develop. You know what I'm saying? If they want to reconcile and be with you, they have to take a stand, you know, as men and women. Let's get these last cards. <clears throat> Yeah, look at that. And I sincere apology. They somebody they somebody owes you a sincere apology. And I feel like that they would rather avoid that than to apologize <laughs> sincerely. I mean, how hard is it? For some people, yeah, because the illusions, look at that, illusions and sincere apology, right? They want to feel like everything is going to go away, um, you know what I mean, that you're going to run off and, um, you know, and they don't have to own it or, 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 or take responsibility or accountability. They don't have to verbally say it. They don't have to look you in your eyes, stuff like that. Or you know what I'm supposed to mean, because remember, we start off the King of Cups. You know I love you, girl. You know I love you, uh, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. Maybe I, other people don't know, but we know that we got a connection. We know we really love each other, but you sometimes you got to hear it. Right, you gotta hear it. You got, or you gotta show it in action, not this illusionary uh, mindset that this woman or man has. Let me get your last card. Anything that you want them to know? They want to offer you some gifts with illusions. They got, they're in romantic illusions. A lot of deception. They bit the apple. They bit the apple. Anything else? They bit the apple. Woo! What's that? Oh. They bit the apple. Pick it up. They want to take you out on a date. I thought I said the chariot. Somebody want to hey, take you out on a date. 
Dating, when you date somebody, you get to know them. You talk to them. You have to communicate. You just eye contact, holding hands, or just sitting in each other's um, aura and just being quiet and just, you know, looking at the sun and on the beach or at the bar or going for a walk. They just want to go on a date, whatever. You, whatever the date is, sitting on the porch, let's have a date, candlelight. They want to date. They want to look into your eyes, get to know you, feel your energy. They want to date. They could be empty handed. They could be having some financial um, restraint. Now people looking in, this could be you. This could be you looking in and I don't read you and I'm channeling you, right? Or this could be the man or woman that you care about or, you know, whoever. I can't tell who's looking in. Anything else? I feel like they want to walk away from the negative, talk to people, places and things. I do feel like that. And they want to walk towards you. They just got to be strong. Anything else? They want to walk away. They want to walk away from that. And they could have walked away from you. And they have some regrets. Anything else? That last card. Woo, honey. No, no, sir. But I'll take this. I feel this. Financial. I feel like it's a lot of money. Financial restraints. And this man or woman could have been a player. A lady man. A true player for real. Ask Puff Taddy. 18 plus adult material and language. I'm on the rights to that. I'm saying this person be financially strapped. And sure, he could have been a player. Or they could still be a player. Yeah. But he got his eyes on you. Players turning their player cards. Now, I don't know when. I don't know. I always treat this as so funny. I can see a bunch of old men. I'd be black men. They be so handsome. And they go, if I was young, I would have had you. I crack up. At this age, now they be cracking me up. So they do, and they always go, I'm in love with my wife, or you know what I'm saying? And I turn in my player's card, and I respect them so much. And then you listen to them, and I, because I, I have this knack where I could talk to people. And they love, and there's something about this woman, right? Now, I don't know the kind of, how they got her, or, you know, if they had ups and downs, because a lot of them have ups and downs, or, you know, or something that this woman did. But it was something unique about this unicorn that can make a player, a uh, man or woman, settle down. And this could be you, collective, right? Let me see anything else. So don't think players can't change because they can. Yes, because they know that they have a higher purpose. They know they have a higher de destiny. And they want you to trust that if they say they're going to come to you, they're not going to tell you any lies. I feel like this person could have told you some lies. This person could have been emotionally unavailable. And this person deals with their pride. But you bring pride. But do you bring this person a lot of um, um, happiness. And I told you this person wants to talk to you. Right? Anything else? Yeah. Big romance and affection. Yeah, see, because this person is working on their healing and they're dealing, they're in a, a relationship where there's a lot of conflict and chaos and stuff. And there you go. Look at that crazy um, um, karmic attachment, men and women, or crazy people are they around, or talk to people, places, and things, or something like that. But they owe you a sincere apology because they feel like you're very high vibration. This person could be a fire sign, right? They want to have sex with you. And some of them, they already um, have sex with you or they think about having sex with you. And look at that karmic, look at that karmic, crazy, um, toxic um, person. Um, that's in their life, jealous, envious, um, you know, or manipulative or deliberate, or, you know, they could act like they're all this, but they're still karmics. Karmics are people that come in your life to teach you a lesson and they're supposed to be gone. Some stay in, in, longer than they're supposed to. And, and, and then the person that you're in love with, he or she's supposed to learn their spiritual lesson. But they still with these karmic people and these karmic people is giving them some hell, right? But they know that you're high vibration and you can bring them comfort. And I don't know what they're waiting for, right? Yeah. Yeah, you okay. Some of them want to have a family with you, or you could have a family with this person. I'll see a lot of reconciliation, and you give them intimacy, and they dream about you. Okay, okay, and they know they got to do some changes, <laughs> but you trigger this person. And when you trigger this person, you can make them um, very, very upset, and it's supposed to change their behaviors. But you're changing this person. Remember, I was talking about them old players and how they change, how that woman or that man that they get with and they turn in their player's card change them because they might trigger them and make them see their behaviors, those unwanted behaviors. But at the end of the day, I need you to know that this man or woman wants to work toward their healing, right? It's not all loss, right? It's not all loss. And they want intimacy. They want real substance and you bring them comfort and you're very high vibrational type men and women. You're high vibrational. They love your energy. They understand that you have a purpose. They understand that they have a purpose. They understand that the men and women they're with is karmics, but they got to get rid of the karmics. It's going to take some changes. They got to make some changes. And so they're the only one that can clean up their life. You can't do it. I think you planted the seed. You gave them some tools and some guidance. You showed them um, a, a new way of looking at life. Um, and there's a, 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 but they have to, they have, at the end of the day, they, as men and women, they have to decide on which direction they want to go. And I feel like they're at the crossroads. You know, they have a two of swords. I think that they know right from wrong. I feel like they know that they have a higher purpose. I dropped that card. I don't know what it is, but they could be financially strapped. They could have business transactions with the karmics, right? They need them. You know what I'm saying? But once they realize they don't need anybody but their self, as long as you have God on your side, you can never fail. People ask me what I believe. I believe in a little bit of everything. I've been into this Hindu thing too. But at the end of the day, they're realizing that it's, they 
they have to be walk more in their integrity and a higher purpose and be more high vibrational and they will they will have more of a sense of integrity as men and women and be true to themselves and then your relationship will probably work better and then they'll probably come towards you if it ain't too late later